Hey, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So the most famous biscuit in Australia would have to be the Tim Tam. Like, when all the celebrities from America come over, they, they always get Tim Tams. England has a similar thing called the Penguin, which has a cool name, and each biscuit comes with a joke, but the taste. You can't compete with the taste of the Tim Tam. I mean, you could argue that the Tim Tam ripped the Penguin off, but did we rip it off, or did we improve it? But anyway, so there's a, there's a supermarket here, started in Germany. I don't know, it could be in England as well, called Audi. So it's a discount supermarket. And uh, they stock their own brands. Like, they stock other brands, but they mainly stock their own brands. And that's why the prices are down. And uh, they're, normally they're pretty good. There's a few misses, but most of the time their uh, their products are good. So they brought out their own version of the Tim Tam called Just Divine. Which most people probably, yeah, that's what most people say about the Tim Tam. Oh, this is so divine. Not me. Get some old weirdo. But I can imagine weirdos saying that when they eat the Tim Tam. You know, the Tim Tam is so popular that we don't even bother doing those most popular biscuit polls because Tim Tam will always win. So like all the other biscuits like the uh, Shapes or the the Kingston or the Monte Carlo would be like, ah, no, we're not even going to compete. We're happy with being second or third and fourth. Anyway. So let's... Uh, Let's crack this bad boy open. Or I'll rip it open anyway. So people have been raving about this, saying how good they are and how much cheaper they are. So this is... Yeah, it does look like a Tim Tam. I think it's a bit smaller than a Tim Tam. But... Kind of smells like a Tim Tam. Holy crap. It pretty much, I think it's a bit skinnier, but it pretty much does taste like a Tim Tam. Well, well, five. Yeah, that's pretty good, but let's see what it holds up to against a Tim Tam. I'm going to do a blind tasting with my Tiger Barn beanie, which I bought Tiger Barn just to get this beanie. Yep, I can't see. I got two plates. So both products are five out of five. I'm not even going to buy the taste test in the Tim Tams because I know it's good. So I got a uh, a tea, I guess, for Tim Tam, and uh, a J for uh, Just Divine. So let me get this ready. No, I was wrong. They're pretty much the same size. This is the uh, Just Divine and this is the Tim Tam. Uh, they both kind of have different patterns on the uh, on the lid, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. Mix it up. Okay. Um, hopefully I'm facing the camera. Um, so I do this one first. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Side by side, they're pretty close. This one's a bit more crunchier. And I'm pretty certain this is the Tim Tam. They're both good. Like I said, they're both five by the five. This is definitely the Tim Tam. When put them side to side, like a crazy person like I did, uh, you can taste the difference. But individually, uh, it tastes very similar. But this one's the Tim Tam. Uh, so I'm only going to say it's probably the winner. Um, I know I should do a competition where... You bite off the ends and suck up coffee, or what I do is chocolate milk, but I do that another day. Um, that can be a part two of this episode. I don't actually have any milk on me, so. Anyway, let's see if I'm right. Yep, Tim Tam. I know my Tim Tams, but you did a good job, Just Divine. You are Just Divine.
Thanks for watching. Game on. Out.